is up guys we are on the second week of the apple cider vinegar challenge i did the first week i'm gonna link up the video if you haven't seen that one and those results but i'm going to be doing the challenge for another week to see if it's legit or some you know we'll see i'm sticking with the lemon i'm sticking with the honey now this is raw unfiltered honey this is supposed to be real good not like regular honey this is health in a bottle sort of a lot of people gave me some recommendations about like putting it in green tea and like a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm gonna stick with just regular for now. It's 5 o'clock, 5 p.m. I've already ate. I'm not sticking to a very structured meal plan. I'm not working out any extra. I'm not being super health because I feel like that shit is cheating. I'm just gonna go regular. Regular day, regular stuff. Like a regular person. I only take one tablespoon per day, anytime. That's it. I don't do anything extra. It tastes like shit. and yeah, this is enough. Arriba, abajo, al centro, pa dentro. Here goes nothing. <sighs> yeah, this just never gets any better. <laughs> I feel like it's more acidic now. What the? F Good morning, everybody. We are on day 12 of the apple cider vinegar challenge, the two week one. And I have the green tea concoction here, which is the apple cider vinegar with green tea that you guys can see the little tea bag in there. It also has the lemon and the honey. So I'm drinking this as a tea. It is very hot, it is very warm, but people did recommend it this way. But I'm gonna try this out when it cools down a little bit and I'll let you guys know what I think. Okay, so here goes the first taste test of this. It's really hot. Oh, okay. That's actually not bad. Okay, so if you're a tea drinker, I would recommend this way. It might take you a little bit longer to kind of chug it because it's like burning hot and I wouldn't recommend that, but it's actually not bad at all. Okay, thank you to the people who recommended this. This is actually not bad. We're figuring out things. We're gonna do things better now. <laughs> What is up guys? It's me again. I think we're on day 13 if I'm not mistaken. One of those. And I'm actually, if you guys can see, I mean it's a pretty small bottle in comparison to some other ones that I've seen online. But I'm almost done with it so I think I'm gonna have to order another one. It's after work. It's after 5. I'm hella tired but I gotta go take this one. So let's... I've been taking it warm which actually has helped if you're a tea drinker you probably will be able to tolerate it better as a tea versus just trying to take it straight a lot of people told me to take it as a shot I just can't I'm a punk I'm a punk y'all I just can't I really feel like I'm gonna throw up and I really don't want to throw up on the internet it's not gonna be a good look okay lemon apple cider vinegar raw unfiltered honey warm water slash green tea all right so day 13 of the apple cider vinegar challenge looks like a lighter piss a lighter warm piss This is the two week update from my apple cider vinegar challenge. If you didn't see the first week, it'll be linked up so that you can see the first week of results. Now this is the second week. I'm gonna really talk about the results because I have actually been taking it for more than two weeks. The second week, the results weren't as great as the first week and I kind of knew that when I talked about it in the first week update because I honestly felt that what it was doing was flushing out all of the water and like the toxins and everything. So I kind of already knew the weight loss was probably not going to be as drastic as my first week. I just want you guys to understand that and keep that in mind. As far as my weight loss, I feel like I kind of did lose probably two pounds. Now I started off at 172 and then I ended off at 168 the first week and then I ended off at 170-ish the second week. So I just want to let you guys know that it I still am technically losing weight. I just feel like it's probably more of a realistic weight loss at this point. I'm not gonna say that I increase weight. I don't think that's what happened. I just think that the water retention kind of first week shock phase was over the second week. So this is more of a realistic weight loss I 
want to let you guys know that it's more realistic for people to lose a pound to half a pound to an, a pound and a half to the maximum two pounds a week in weight loss versus like a drastic crazy weight loss. <laughs> I did notice on the second week that I didn't really notice the first week number one is the decrease of appetite a hundred percent I feel like I am NOT as hungry as I used to be if you're like somebody who's always hungry all the time It might suppress your appetite not drastic where you're like starving yourself enough where you're not always Craving things that you usually would so just keep that in mind So if you guys want a 30-day update, please let me know in the comment section down below like this video And also don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. I want to give a huge shout out to kicking it with curls for always supporting the channel i see you girls and i'll see you guys in the next one peace